Hello everyone, Fairfawn49 here, and I am here with some Doctor gameplay. So, the build that I'll be having is Call of Brine, Unnerving Presence, Pop Goes the Weasel, and No Way Out. If you don't know already, I will explain the packs that I have uh, right now, and some of the add-ons as well for Doctor. But let's get on to the perks that I will be bringing. So Call of Brine is obviously the Unreal teachable perk that you unlock within um, the blood web after you have unlocked it with getting Unreal, if you have her at least. So what Call of Brian does is after de damaging the generator, this perk becomes active for 60 seconds and it re regresses the generator by 200% of the normal regression speed as you see with the yellow aura. This perk Combined with, give me one moment to find it, one mental. <laughs> this perk combined with, I guess you could say pop goes, is actually a really good combination <laughs> only because pop goes, a deep bound, bond, not bound, goodness gracious, with the entity unlocks great strength. After hooking a survivor, the next generator you damage instantly loses 25% of its progress. Normal generator regression applies after the damage generator action, and then pop goes is active for 45 seconds after you hook the survivor. It is really good combination with Call Brian, only because the two of them together make really great regression speed for a generator once you kick it. Un Nerving presence. <laughs> presence allows instills great fear. Er, my presence instills great fear. Fear. Survivors within tear radius have a 10% greater chance of triggering <laughs> skill checks when repairing a r repairing or healing. Sorry, triggering skill checks success zones are reduced by 60%, which is a very itty bitty skill check that. Makes it harder for survivors to hit it and all this stuff. No Way Out does this. You are not going to let just anyone into your VIP room. After hooking a survivor for the first time, No Way Out gains a token. Once the exit gates have been powered, No Way Out activates. When a survivor interacts with both exit gates, like both the exit gate switches, you receive a loud notification. The entity then blocks both exit gate switches for 12 <laughs> seconds, plus an additional 12 seconds for each token in your possession. So, if I hook all four survivors, that is... I do believe it's 60 seconds. <laughs> I might be wrong. But it is 60 seconds, by my guess, that the both exit gates are unlocked. Obviously, the lesser the tokens that you have, the lesser of the chance that the gate will be blocked longer for you to be able to get your kills. So the add-ons that I have on Doctor is Order, um, Carter's Notes, and Calm, which is his notes. So Order, his notes, decreases my static blast cooldown for 6 seconds, which is actually really <laughs> useful for me because I can just keep shocking the shit out of people and just get them to tier 3 madness and then get them down and all that stuff. With the afflicted madness <laughs> that they suffer from, broken palettes appear or may appear to be replaced with an illusionary palette that persists until approach. <laughs> this is really good because if people don't like pay attention to the ground because you can see the broken palette on the ground it is very noticeable but a lot of people don't notice it. It is actually really good for me because if they approach that palette they always think oh shit I'm in trouble, especially if they're injured. So an illusionary pallet is generated at the location of a random broken pallet every 20 seconds. And I see these pallets. 
which is actually really useful. I love using this add-on. And his calm increases my tear radius by 8 meters while static blast is ready. So decreasing my static blast, which is actually very helpful because I think every 60 seconds it uh, comes back. I can't remember it. I do believe it's 60 seconds if I uh, remember correctly. It decrease both these add-ons decreases my static blast, which is really useful. No, sorry, one of them increases its tear radius for the static blast, and the other one decreases it, so it actually helps a lot. And decreasing my tear radius by 8 meters with static blast is on cooldown. That is also, um, kind of useful, I guess. I have no idea. But, if the survivor is afflicted with madness and suffers from it, madness tier 2 gives them a an illusionary tear radius on their back, which lights them up with red. Which, in turn, kind of makes it easier for me to see if I am nearby. Like, see the survivor, if they're nearby me, at least. Because I can see that bright red tear radius aura on their back. And I can be like, oh, survivor? Okay, I'll chase you. And if they are in tier 3, it is constant tear radius. If you are new to Doctor, I will tell you this right now. It is best to use these two add-ons right here which are the lesser versions of these two right here. Only because... No, sorry. Wrong ones. I think it's best for brand new doctors to use the Maple Knight only because it reveals your aura for the static uh, shock therapy, not static blast. So with the shock therapy, you want to be able to learn how to use it and be able to learn the timing of shocking survivors at any pallet and or vaulting window. Only because once you stock therapy them, in the process of chasing them, they can't vault or throw down a pallet because it gets disturbed for, I think it's five seconds, if I remember. <coughs> it might be a little bit longer, but I can't remember. Um, but this is actually really useful for those who are brand new. This also increases your range of your shock therapy by 2 meters. These two right here are perfect for brand new doctors who are just learning doctor because he is, right now he is a little bit hard to use. I'd Dead by Daylight has categorized him as hard. I think he's in between hard and intermediate only because of my skill with Doctor, but for brand new people, he is very hard to use. So I'd say use Maple Knight with Moldy Electrode only because you are just learning Doctor and getting used to his power. So. Let's get straight into the gameplay. Well, this isn't really the greatest map, but I will try my best. Usually with Doctor, I am actually pretty good. So, let's actually open up this door. In the basement, really? Yeah! Okay. If you just say so, you wait. Actually, this way, you're off. 
Because, as you see, loud noise notification. Oh, 
just going to say, I was going to go over to this generator.
urban invading. <coughs> urban invading around here.
not record as well, so if he is off during the week that I want to record, then I'm going to just push that recording to the next day. Same with if I'm not feeling well, like yesterday I was kind of eh in the morning, and when it got later on in the evening I was feeling a lot better, which is when I was working. Um, so I'm just going to put, uh, let you guys know for that time. Um, so, as well, even though I would do three gameplays for Doctor, but I'm going to actually do a third gameplay for this video on the PTB that is coming out next Tuesday. When this video actually comes out, it will be like three to four-ish days, so I'm going to try to get this out for you Saturday, probably which is when you're going to be watching this video, is going to be Saturday evening. I will know, but I will definitely push out a, um, another doctor video for you on the PTV. If I do not edit in this video, you'll definitely see it on the weekend, or sorry, next weekend, because PTV doesn't come out until next Tuesday, which that actually, I will definitely tell you um, some perks that I really don't like using currently right now are actually getting a huge change or nerf or buff that I really like, which is actually better than the current perks that we have right now. At least for right now, the perks that I have showcased for you in today's video clearly are the better perks at least for now, but once the PTB and this gets released next month in the live games, these perks will definitely be better. I will definitely give you a showcase for them next week for next Saturday. I am actually very excited for this main build that I have in mind that I want to do for Doctor. This is actually going to be a really great content video for you guys. I am very excited for these perk changes to come into the game because this is actually really healthy for the game. I am so excited. All right. Well, that will be it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like, share it with your friends, and please let me know in the comments down below what video you want me to do next for our killer. I definitely will be pushing out a Legion video here shortly because I just got into Legion. I finally got them. I am so excited. I really love playing Legion now. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!